Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, oh, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Yeah! Holy hell, we're starting, folks. Here we are. We're in. We're in the Lunch Stuff Studios. Remember that? Live. Remember it. We're in it. Do you have the light on? Lights you on. You believe it, baby. We got the Fusilli Jerry. We got the regular Jerry. That's like the on-air light, you know, on old TV shows. Oh, yeah. Love it on air. You know what? It was nice. I walked by a uh, juice factory or juice jizz. One of the juice... Jamba? No, no. I don't juice like the press? Jamba. Might have been a juice press. Juice for Jesus? Juice Generation, maybe. Ah, yes. Uh, there's one of those. And they have a new thing where they have a red light blinking outside. It says, fresh almond milk being made. And they'll light what? it up. So it kind of gives you... And it might just go on periodically, but it works. So I'm like, ooh, they're making fresh almond milk. Yeah, they got the almonds milking back there. You know what's one I, fun? I saw the one in, there's one in Seattle. It's a Juice Generation, I think. Outside, they have a pull-up bar. It says, if you can do 20 pull-ups, you're healthy. You don't need a juice. What? Which is a nice little thing to do because most people aren't going to do 20 pull-ups and they're going to get the juice anyways, but it brings people over there. Yes. Like, Let me go see if I can do 20 pull-ups. Pretty smart. And I... then most people aren't going to be able to do it, so they go, you should get a juice. Right. You know, they they kind of buy Even though it's a joke and it's fun, they kind of buy it. Yeah. I, Literally. I kind of I wish that if I did 20, I'd get a free mini smoothie or something. Oh, that, that would be, be nice. That would be a little enticing. Yeah, but then you'd have all the fucking muscle heads oh, coming over there and that's did, true. Did pull them out of business. I know, but now you got a, a crowd drawing a crowd. I don't know. Now you got a little, uh, little something cooking out there. What about a dollar off? Dollar off if you can do uh, uh, there we go. 80 sit-ups or whatever. Now we're compromising for the Jews. Then they could do one, you know, where they go, if you could do an impossible sit-up and they do the whole thing where you stick your asshole in their face. Oh, then you get an impossible burger. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. They're getting sued by somebody about something. You know why? Because they're using the meat on the same grill. The fake meat's put on the meat grill. Oh, so the fake saying, meat and the real meat are mending. Yeah, they're, they're uh, coagulating or interracial or whatever you call that. It's like a uh, halal. 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 With an H. Ha. Ah. Halal. What about it? I think halal has to be on its own grill. That's what halal oh, is. Oh, because it's all religion. They, they put a fucking ISIS. curse on it or whatever. Right, yeah. Right. They put a spell or a hijab. Yeah. Then they uh, they suicide it up or whatever. Suicide bomber. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, remember every uh, black comic when the almond milk came out was like, that, that was my favorite joke. Like, everyone had it. Like, how are you going to milk an almond? They don't have tits. Oh, oh, that's that was very big. good. That I like that. <laughs> I love almond milk, by the way. I'm all too. in on almond milk. Get yourself some oat. Do yourself a favor, get oat milk. Is that good sugar? I'm all sugar. No, out. no sugar. Okay, I like an almond milk. And I'll tell you what I had in uh, Burlington, Vermont. I had some cashew milk. Sure. And that really made me jizz a fucking cream pie. Yeah, I don't mind. I I'll take all the milks. I don't like a regular a cow milk, though. Cow milk stinks. It's all sugar and fat and fucks. What's up with 2%? 2% is worse, I think, because they're messing with it. I don't know yeah, what's what it's about watery what. watery and jizzy. It's like a, the whatever woman squirting. That feels like 2%. They can kiss 2% of my ass. You got that right. Seinfeld, tonight. Oh, you reminded me. I forgot about it for a second. Um, hold on. I'll come back to that. But yeah, forget it. was forget something it. I wanted to... That this sparked something in me. Shit, I'm never going to be able to get back Spark to it. Plug, uh, no, no. 2% milk. Number two pencil. Milk, the sugar. Uh, Fuck, milk, I'm never going to get back uh, to it. It was good. It was going to open up a whole milk vag man. of... Milk milk. No, you're not helping. Uh, you know you're not helping. Uh, milk. Uh, what were we... Okay, it was whole milk is sugar. 2%. Ka oh, I heard a story about Jeremy Ooh. Piven. Oh, he's a milker. Well, he's um, he's skating by with the Me Too's. He's fine. Well. All these clubs, they won't have Louie, but they're having Piven up the ass. Oh, interesting. Well, you know and what he's they... Not, he's, like a, he's been doing comedy for six weeks. You know what they did with the Me Too thing that's weird is they only take one job away. What do you mean? Okay. Louie got Me too so they go, hey, no stand-up. Okay. And he goes, all right. Piven got Me Too. They go, so no acting. So then he can still do stand-up. Is he no acting right now? He can't act. 
Oh. Hollywood's banned. That's why you haven't seen him anything. That's why he's doing stand-up. Oh. He doesn't give a shit about the craft. No. Macaroni and cheese? No. He just wants to uh, make some money and still get blown. But a lot of these same exact clubs, regardless of like the national picture, a lot of the same bookers and clubs that are like, oh, we would not have Louie, have Jeremy Piven. Yeah, no, I agree. The, the, the politics are all kooky. Look at, look at Gillis. Shane Gillis can't do SNL, but everybody's letting him do stand-up. Right. That's not a me too, but... He still got canceled, I guess. Yeah. Well, stand-up's lesser. He's doing stand-up at the stand. He's not doing it at fucking The Tonight Show. Sure, sure. But he is on the road. Yeah, that's true. But a club a club and SNL are not equivalents. No, no. Whereas no. this one specific club saying, we won't have Louie, but we will have Jeremy Piven, is equivalent. Sure, sure. But they, they take the big one away, I feel like. Yes, I suppose so. Because they want to punish you. It's like a mom. They go, you like video games more than the, the softball? You're losing the TurboGrafx-16. Right. So he's doing comedy as a punishment. That's kind of funny. Yeah. He's well, like, it's... no movies for you. You got to go do stand-up, you fucking loser. And he's like, all right, fine. And meanwhile, we're jerking each other off because we've got gigs. I know, I know. We, we love the punishment. We're well, masochists. I love stand-up. I love I, I really love it. Oh, but here's the Piven. Yes, so I Piven. was in, uh, what the fuck city? All the cities blend in now. Mm. But I was going to do radio, and the radio guy, I think it was Albany, and uh, he was telling me about, he took Piven to Starbucks, mm. and uh, the guy, or maybe it was Dunkin' Donuts. I think it was ah, Dunkin' Donuts to get a coffee. D. And in the drive through Piven was like, you got goat's milk? And the guy was like, ghost milk? What? Uh-huh. He's like, goat's milk. Right. And the guy's like, Go smell. I don't. What are, you, what are you saying? He's like, goat's milk, and I'm like, he's at an Albany Dunkin' Donuts. They never even heard of goat's milk. <laughs> he's like, you don't have goat's milk, and they're like, no, we don't have goat's milk. They had to get a manager in there, and the guy's like, no, we don't have goat's milk. Right. He's like, you don't, so no goat's milk, <laughs> and I'm like, what are you like? That's a guy that's been living in Hollywood too yes, long. Yes, yes. Thinks they're gonna have goat's milk. Right. You don't have kale chips. What's going on <laughs> here? Well, all we got is, uh, you know, frosted minis or some, munchkins. Some say the, um, oh, munchkin. When's that going to get, that's going to get offensive. I don't think or so. Or munchkin's fake. Is that what a midget, like a fairy midget? But they're not <laughs> calling little people munchkins. They're calling <laughs> munchkins munchkins. Maybe we should. Munchkin is cuter than little people. I think you call kids munchkins, but if they had a growth problem, you know. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, yeah. Where do we get munchkin? That's only used now for a donut hole. I guess uh, it comes from Wizard of Oz, maybe? Yes, Wizard of Oz. The Munchkin kids. Well, that's the Lollipop Guild. Then yeah, there's the Munchkins. That's the Guild. Just the Munchkins. By the way, they're a guild. You got to do do's. I guess they do do. You got to have a do's. Just, they shit like anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, they probably shit Lucky Charms or something. But my point is goat's milk, greatest of all time. Oh, I see. I've never had a goat's milk, I don't think. Yeah, it's all the same. Well, I wonder if goats and cows are different. Or they're like a rival. Mm. It must be different. I mean, that's why you have goat's milk. I guess, but it seems like oat milk or almond milk, you're getting no jizz. You're getting no dairy. Right. But you're still getting dairy from a from a bear. But maybe he's fit. He's more fit or yeah, something. Right. I don't know. What's the difference? Well, with Tuesdays with facts, we'll fucking zap us up together or something. I'll tell you the difference with a goat and a milk is a goat will fight back. You can push a cow over. A goat will kick you in the balls. Oh, yeah, you can tip. You don't have to tip a goat. You can't tip a goat or or a waiter. So what do you do? You hold him down like the hind legs? You just grab him? Well, he's got the uh, he's got the horns, too. Well, you got to grab him by the horns. It's like life. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait. What's the goat and a sheep are different? Yes. They're both furry and, and annoying. I think a goat is like a male sheep, maybe? No, no. It's no, something no. similar. No, a ram. A ram. ram is like a male sheep. <laughs> sheep, yes. Yeah, because I looked it up because I had a bit about I tried to do a bit. What the fuck was my sheep bit going to be? I can't yeah. even remember. But I was walking amongst all these sheep, and I was scared, and they, people were giving me shit because, like, oh, you're such a city slicker afraid of a goat. So I looked it up, and goats can actually oh, fuck you up. Goats will ruin. They're like Puerto Ricans. You can't Wait, trust them. Not a goat, a sheep. Wait. But a male sheep has ho- is a ram. No. Yes. Okay, maybe. A ram. He's got the fucking the dingleberries on his head. So a female sheep you can take down. Oh, I'll fuck a female sheep right yeah, up the ass. Yeah, they get 88 go. cents to the horn on those things. <laughs> is it 80 cents or 88? I keep hearing different numbers, by I the way. I heard 77. This, this pay gap. I heard 80 last night. It was 88 a couple of weeks ago. I don't know what's what. Yeah, we got to keep track of that. How are we going to fix it if it's all over the road? Yeah, I don't know that it's a problem. I keep hearing. I get Both sides are so convinced. I just don't know why you wouldn't pay. I just hire all women. I'd clean up. 
If I was a, a CEO. <laughs> yeah, you'd be saving 12 to 32 cents per special for lady. Yeah, exactly. But I think I think the other theory is that it's all manual labor. That's not they don't get paid oh. less for the same job. On average, men are making more, but men are firemen and window washers and Garbage cops men. and military and, and stuff that you're risking your life, whereas ladies tend to be teachers, which pays Nursing. like shit, and nurses and blah, blah, blah. That's what I've heard. And then, of course, I've heard just fucking the opposite. Yeah. I, but I, I, but, I don't know. So I'm comedy. I've done shows where uh, females were making three times as much as me for the same amount of time. Yeah, yeah. But then they get mad when you say that, which is weird because you're like, oh, I thought you wanted it to be better. I'm saying, look, it's it's better. Right. So why are you mad at me for pointing it out? Mm. Maybe you like a little victim action. <laughs> Mother Nature's a mad scientist. Yep. I always say misogyny. Biology, the number one misogynist. But... Oh, I had a point about the ram anal. Oh, Shit. there's rams and goats and uh, goblins. Women, the garbage men. You don't see garbage women. Oh, I had I got something. A, I got a side topic whenever you come up with it. Oh, well, now the pressure's on to, to come. Well, if you don't come up with it, I got a topic. Uh, I don't think I'm going to come up with it now because uh, I want to hear your thing. Well, my thing is an existential question. Oh, boy. We unlocked a big bag of hammers here. What is... A goblin. Wait, where'd this come from? Well, I said goats. Maybe think of <laughs> ghosts. Goats and ghosts. And then there's ghosts and goblins. Uh-huh. What the fuck's a goblin? I think it's like a, a troll of some kind. Oh, is that right? It's a troll family. Oh, I could kind of picture that now with a big nose yes. and like a, a goblin. Right. That's the green goblin in Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. But I didn't care for trolly. that. I don't think, think Spider-Man has great villains. <laughs> It's like a guy with a bunch of arms. It's Oc- like Willem Dafoe. Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a guy like a nerd with glasses. I'm like, what is going on here? Oh, uh, yeah. Whereas like Batman's got Tom Hardy on steroids. Sure. And then he's got Heath Ledger fucking on pills. Right. Well, you're throwing in actors, which is changing it. But, <laughs> but they're portraying it. I'm, I'm talking yes. Spider-Man. It's getting portrayed by fucking, you know, That's Harvey it. Milk or whoever that guy was. Sean Penn? No, Sean Penn. What? Oh, Sean Penn, Harvey Milk, not Harvey Milk. He's Who's not the an actor. guy? He's a homosexual who died of AIDS. Oh Jesus Uh-oh. Christ! Speaking of AIDS, Joe's oh. getting a call. Nothing. All good. All good. All good. This is why I usually go airplane mode. You see a uh, booker yes. texting you, like, "Oh my God, what's happening?" Uh huh. Damn it! I had something on the women being paid, and I lost it. Oh uh, shit! Goblins. What did you say? Goats, rams, <laughs> cheese. Oh, damn it. two. It was goats cheese. Seventy-seven percent. Yeah, goat cheese. Yeah. Mm. Goatee. Right. Oh, that's no good. No, you don't want to go tea. Uh, one time I was at, I think I might have talked about this before, but uh, one time I was at a restaurant with a hang with comics. And I was like, it's like these people with goatees. Are, who, why are you hanging on to a goatee unless you're a fucking baseball player? And I looked up and he, like, it was kind of dark. And like across the way, there was a guy with a goatee. Ah. Pronounced perfect goatee. Yeah. I was like, well, not yet. Oh, it looks good on you. Right. I had to do like that thing. Now, why do you allow the baseball to do it? Isn't that weird how if somebody does something enough, you go, all right, well, they can do it. Well, they do it just because they do it. I don't know. It's like a thing. I get black people. But even people, then, it's strange. Black people have a lot of that where you're like, that is weird, but you're black, so we let it slide. Mm. You know, like the pants sagging or like the, uh, which is just strange because I'm like, I, don't you want to get around? And also, there's a lot of homo- uh, homophobia, and that's very gay. Isn't it like showing your ass like that? Having your pants down? Yeah, I mean, you're showing me your pants. And it's almost like you're presenting. I'm like, hey, I, I'm, a, I'm a closer to your asshole now. Well, it could be that could be hetero too, just general sex. If your pants are down. Well, fucking a guy in the ass. I'm talking. It's I know, but, he could, but you have to take your pants down to fuck someone else too. I see. So his front is also down. None of the front is not down. The front's not down. The front is higher up than the back half. Is that right? The backside is way lower. I will call in if you're How do you uh, have that? Afro American. You can't have a pant tilt. <laughs> you can have a tilt. I mean, it's a waistband. You can put the cuz I feel like the African American rump is a little more pronounced. So from the side it's at an angle like this, like the yes. belt, the belt yes. of 45, some, 35. Some guys are going reckless and just going like down to like mid thigh. Because my belt's even. You look at me from the side, I got a well, flat belt. Even Steven flat belted fella. <laughs> I'm talking some uh, brothers are really just showing rump. Brothers? What is this, 78? Well, I'm trying to mix up my jargon here for the F, uh, for the Neegs. Oh, okay. Bros. Well, chocolate thunder down under. Yes. I'm just saying. I'm, it's, it's like, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine, and he was saying all this slang, and I was like, it's weird that you talk like this, but 
you're black, so we go with it. Right. It's very strange. Yeah. Well, certain things, you know, you just you deal with it. I mean, same if you went to New Orleans and some guy's like, oh, well, really black. He's got marbles in his mouth. But sure. you're like, I guess he lives there. Yeah, it's all cultural. I get it. I well, get it. Well, that's why I say people are always like, where's your Boston accent? And I'm like, well, I'm living amongst other people. I'm trying to sound like a normal fucking same, I- non-idiot same. here. I don't want to say, I, I got rid of my y'alls. Yeah, I'm trying to enunciate. Right. But y'all, I think, I'm, I've used a y'all occasionally. Well, yeah, everybody could use a y'all, but it, down there, you say y'all for like 300 times in a, in a day. But y'all, at least, is grammatically correct. Yes. You're shortening you all, y'all. What is that? Whereas like, ka, you're like, right. what? That's not how you fucking say it. That's a good point. I've said this before. New Orleans accents and Boston accents are kind of similar. Very similar. There's a lot of times I'm like, oh, this guy's from Boston. And a couple more sentences, I'm like, oh, wait, no, he's New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we slow everything down, though. Boston, Sean Patton once said that Boston, New Orleans accent is like a Boston accent with a, with a, uh, Percocet. Ah. You know, New Orleans. We take our time. Yes. Beantown you're slow. is a little more hippy dippy, quickie. Slow and retarded. We have all the schools. We're yes. smart and fast. Yes, we got no schools. Yeah, you're dumb and we're smart. Thank you. No problem. All right. We got uh, we got hurricanes though, you don't have that. We had a hurricane once, Hurricane oh. Bob when I was a kid, ninety one. Mm. Something, not Bob. 91. That's classic. That's like a perfect Boston hurricane. Yeah. Hurricane Bobby. Fucking Bob. Yeah. Bobby. <laughs> All Bobby. Right. I got to talk to you about some stuff. We, yeah. We did an shit, hour on shit my uh, ass and see if I swallow it. All right. How do you swallow with your ass? Oh, you can swallow with an ass. I guess an asshole can pucker and wink. Yeah, you can. If you just spread it open and then shit down in there and then close it, it goes somewhere. That's a good point. I don't know that's a swallow, but it'll maybe go to your hamstrings, gravity. Sure, it is some sort of a shoot. A poop shoot. Yeah, poop shoot. A crap shoot. Hey, <laughs> hey that's you, fun. Don't, you don't want that when you jump out of a plane. No. You want a para. Yeah, you want a good shoot. Yeah. Just, uh, just shoot me. That was a TV show. Oh, yeah. All right. So I just got back from uh, the West Coast. Ooh, the best coast. That's what they say. San Jose area. Sunnyvale, to be exact. I love Sunnyvale. I had a rob there, which was unpleasant. Oh, I talked to a few cats about that. Oh, yeah. It's an epidem. Yes, yes, I know. Yeah, it's it's rough. San Jose, pretty uh, methy, I think, is what it is. Yeah, like an actor. Methy. Yes. So, um... Home of the Sharks. I took your advice, went to Sunnyvale, we sold out some shows, so I felt like, ah, I got a little extra cash, I got my merch over here, I'm making some dough. I'm getting a car. Yes, get the car. Freedom, baby. I got my dumb gay, like, Hyundai uh, Savant or... or uh, Hyundai. Or, or, yeah, something like that. And uh, Sonata, I don't know what it was, and I hit the town. I went to Berkeley. Love Berkeley. Went to SF. Berkeley was great because it's the classic... It's like PCU, the movie. Right. You know, it's like there's a guy going, we got to get rid of cell phones. You're all on them right now. Some guy with crazy blonde hair. And I was right. on my cell phone just photographing him. You right, know? right. It was great. It was right out of a movie. You know, then there's like the shaved head ladies over here, the guy playing a little banjo. I who's love Berkeley. About, Trump will kill the Jews or whatever. And uh, that was great. Went over to SF, just drove around uh, San Fran just to see the water, see all the architecture. Loved it. Uh, then we go to the Niners game. What a great stadium. Levi's Stadium. Oh, yeah. Uh, and man, so I get there. The guy's like, it was Joey Avery and the crew. Oh, I love Joey. That's a sexy kid. Good looking kid. A big, fat smile on that kid. He's got quite a grill. Funny guy. Funny guy. Nice head of hair. Uh, so he, we all show up, we get drunk, he goes, I got extra tickets, this guy Daoud had an extra ticket, he was, uh, hosting for me. Daoud? Daoud. Oh. I believe he was... Like, it's like an old car horn. Daoud. He had a, he was some kind of brown, I don't know. But he had blonde hair and fun guy. Brown and guy, blonde hair, you don't hear that every day. Died. Ah. Uh, yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah, well. What happened? Uh, kamikaze. <laughs> But uh, no, so he uh, we, we he's like I got tickets to the Niners game. I said I'll meet you there. I gotta I gotta get a gym in. I drive over there. Obviously you can't park. This is how cool Joey Avery is. I'm like I can't park. I, I missed like an hour of the games. So I'm just looping around. Oh, and hate the it, loop. They got the things with the the pedicabs. Ah, uh, the Tom pedicab. pedicab. You know, and then so you park so far away that they make a killing just bringing people to the stadium. Yes. So I park. I'm, I'm way away just trying to loop around, but everything's gated off because it's all it's all Silicon Valley over there. Yes. 
And uh, so they don't. They're like, no, you can't come in here. And I'm like, why not? Just charge me twenty bucks. I'll park here. You could make. You could clean up. And they're all millionaires. They don't need my cash. They invented the iPad or whatever. Right. So eventually, I text Joey. And I'm like, hey man, I can't get in. I, I can't park anywhere. And he's like, I got a spot. Go in. Say you work at this place called Liffy or whatever, and just sign the <laughs> clipboard, and you're in. I was like, man, Avery. Wow, Liffium. So I go in. I, I see the place. It's got a gate. I move the gate. I park in there, and I'm looking for the clipboard guy. And there's nobody. I tell him, like, there's no one here. He goes, eh, that means you're good. Just leave the car. Oh, boy, and this I sounds. Like, I was like, all right. And he's like, he's, he's got 12 Bud Lights at him. He's like, fuck it. Get in there. Live it up. Well, Nate used to have a joke about that. The guys that's not, whose car it isn't, they never care about the parking. I'll pay for it. The people in the car are always like, park in front of a hydrant, park on the grass, yeah. fucking park over there. No one ever cares. When it's not your car, especially when you're not in the car. Right. Then you really don't give a shit. Nobody gives a shit. And he's in the sunshine. He's got a Niners game. He's got a hand job. He's killing it. So I go, ah, I feel weird. What if somebody, yeah, I could just get towed, a rental car. I don't live here. It's a whole thing. And he goes, live it up. No, he goes, live a little. Okay. Now, live a little is my Marty McFly chicken. You tell me live a little, I'm fucked. Right, you right. You got to do it. Pants down. You could be putting my head into the, into the pillow and about to ram me in the ass. I'm like, we shouldn't do this. And you're like, live a little. I'd be like, all right, put it in. Yeah, it's good to know. That's a hot tip for the fans out I there. Know, I know. I shouldn't give that in the up. ass. I can't avoid live a little. So I go, ah, fuck it. So I park the car. I get out of there. I walk to the stadium. Now we got the whole stadium thing. Where's your ticket? My guy inside's got it. Ah, uh, We can't let you in. Hey, they won't let me in. All right, I'm coming out. And I go, oh, come on. Like The game's an hour in. What, what are you doing? I, I got a ticket. I got a friend. He's like, oh, we can't let you in. Why would they let you in without a ticket? Well, that's a good point. <laughs> but uh, I was supposed to you meet should have told him to live a little. <laughs> I know. See, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Well, I had a guy who said, meet me at gate F, and I was at gate A. And he's like, you got to go all. Uh, he gave me one of these. You got to go all. Oh, you're way off. I hate the way off. It's long AF. Yes. So I go, uh, all right, all right. So I'm like, ah, I got to go all the way around. He's like, you got to go back out, cut around. At the Back out alone is like half a mile. Right, you know? these stadiums, brutal. It's crazy, but I get it. There's terrorists and Daoud and ISIS and all that. So I just go, ah, I don't want to go all the way around. So I jump like this little black fence, and I jump it. I walk in, and I realize, oh, shit, I'm in. I just what? jumped the right fence. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize it. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm in. And Daoud's like, where are you? I'm like, ah, don't worry about it. I'm in. Wow. It Jesus was crazy. Christ. I mean, this is like a huge breach of security. I know. Because you could have had a bomb vest on. I mean, I bombed that night, but I, it was a four foot fence. It was so easy. I couldn't believe it. Wow. So I jumped the fence. No one saw me. I walk in. Now I'm in the, I'm in the Niners game. It's sold out. It's killer. And what a game. We get a couple beers. By the way, I bought four beers and a cocktail. It was like $60. Oh, it's brutal. These sporting events are outrageous. Crazy. I, I hope they get bombed. And then I go in, we, we get the worst seats on the planet, but we can see everything, and it was a hell of a game. Like, they were down, then they did an interception, then they got the ball, then they won. It was, a, it was against uh, the Cardinals. Tremendous game. You saw? Well, I saw the highlights. It was during the Patriots game, but they kept cutting to that game. Yeah. So then we leave there, we're half in the bag, we do the show, and then uh, the next day we go see Ford v. Ferrari. Uh, Fun. You see it? I haven't seen it yet. It's a, lot of, it's a little Disney'd up. It's lengthy. It was. It, it keeps you the whole time, but it's boy, it's Disney. Everything's so characterized, and he throws a wrench at him, and you're like, "Did he really do that?" You know? Right, right. Yeah, you always want like the um, pop up video. Yes. Well, like we put this in for fun. Right. You know. So it was fun, and I left there, and I watched the. There's a Ford v Ferrari Ferrari doc on, ah. on Netflix, which was way better. The doc is always better. Yeah, it's just I want the real shit. Yeah, give me the real. So here's you can't the, watch a movie after the doc. Once you've seen the doc, you're like, that's not what he looks like. That's not what happened. This it's is ruined. I know what's going to go on. It's like seeing a lady without makeup. You're like, all right, well, now I know the truth. Yeah, they're nah. worthless. Actually, it's more like seeing a guy flaccid. Ah, that's better. Once you see, once your girl sees you flaccid, you're ruined. Yeah, I like a no makeup. Yeah, I don't mind no makeup. I don't know that's why I cute. said that. Yeah. It's a good look because that's, that's actually how you look. Also, I'm not going to wear makeup, so I can't bitch at you. I love wearing makeup. Really? As soon as Sarah leaves the house, I'm right in that makeup case. Blackface? Oh, I got eyeliner, eyebrows, the whole thing. Yeah. Paint my tongue. Go nuts. Paint my tongue. What? <laughs> <laughs> so then I, uh, now here's the clinker. I sent a box of shirts out. You know me. I got to show you this, this stack of boxes. I really overdid it. I'm fucked. Every now and then a fan will be like, oh, you're going to the stand. Bring me one large. I'm like, all right. 
Out of 7,000 shirts, I got one down. But those shirts are killer. My feature act, he cleaned up this cleaned past week. Up. I mean, he cleaned. That's why I did it. That's why I poked. Yeah, you got to clean. So uh, I bring a box of shirts. I sell them all. Great. Perfect amount of shirts. It was good times. But a couple drunk cats were like, hey, I want a shirt. I go, here you go. And they go, we don't have any cash. I go, Venmo me. They didn't Venmo. What? They just were dry. It wasn't. You're ripping us off. It wasn't them. It was. I mean, it, it wasn't was them, them. But it was. Uh, it wasn't intense. Sounds intense to me. Well, they. I saw them pull it out. They're like, "Hey, is this you?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." And I guess they just never hit send. They went and fucked a prostitute or whatever. Oh wow! Well, so, I think that's a little off putting. If you're listening, how about to fucking throw a little cash to the kid over well, here? Well, what are you talking about? Well, it's your shit. I agree, but they're stealing. Now I'm like, how do I do that? It was like eighty bucks I lost here. You that's know? fucking crazy. It's Give crazy. him his money. Well, hold on, I'm not done there, fatty. Okay, well, sorry. You tell me people are ripping you off, I and you're just going it. with it. Appreciate the concern. But I go, ah, am I a chooch if I hit these guys up? No, you're fucking, what the fuck? I know, but I felt like a cheap weirdo. So eventually one of them tagged me in a photo. So I go, oh, I got his name. And I go, hey, buddy, I hate to sound like a cum guzzler here, but uh, I think he took some shirts and didn't Venmo him. And he was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. So I think he gave me extra money. Oh, yeah, he should. So it worked out. That's, it's guilt. He tried to steal from you, and then he felt guilty. So he's like, let me throw you some extra money. He thinks it'll make up for the fucking crime he committed. You think it was intentional? Of course it was intentional. What do you mean? I think they were in a blackout. They were having fun. We got photos, headlocks. I mean, they were they were into it. I They're guess. gays and all that. I guess. All right. Well, it was, a, it was an odd moment. Okay. All right. I'm just saying, you, you don't pay someone, you kick the shirt. That's, uh, you know. Yeah, it's business. It's bad business. Hey, hey, folks. Got to talk to you about Can I Pro Gear. That's Can I Pro Gear. This is good stuff. They sent me a backpack. I love this thing. I bring it on the road. It's got a million compartments. It's got a slot for everything. It's got zippers and tethers. This thing is a beauty. It's lightweight, durable. I got a toothbrush in one pocket. I got a laptop in the back, shoes in the front, clothes in the middle, drugs on the side, a water holder. You name it. This, this, is, the, this is the good stuff, folks. This is uh, it's used by the U.S. government, and Secret Service agents use it. And I'm using it to go to goddamn phoenix like a douche i love the can i backpack you got to get one folks right in time for the holidays they even got a holiday sale it's on now with our code tuesdays you can get an additional 15 percent off and for limited time only if you spend over 40 clams they'll throw in free shipping come on that's good stuff that's uh that's at can i progear.com let me spell that c-a-n-n a-E, progear.com. Use Tuesdays to get 15% off. This is good stuff. You're going to love it. You're going to buy it, and you're never going to buy another backpack again. This thing's a beaut. Good eggs over there at Can I. Have a good one. All right, what do you got? Because I got a big one, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tease. All right, save your business. I got a few. I've been going to all kinds of events. Oh, A lot hey. of ticketed events over here and a root canal, all kinds of things. Hit me. I went to a football game the day before. I was out in uh, Iowa, Des Moines. Mm, quit bragging. It's, uh, you know, I like that Des Moines funny bone. Good, good club. It's small. It's intimate. There's only one show Friday, which Woo-wee. I love. And uh, a nice time. So I went to the Iowa State football game. I'm oh, yeah. to an Iowa State basketball game and an Iowa State football game. I'm entrenched in uh, Iowa State sports. Uh-huh. The Cyclones. Ooh, we got those in Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. I've been to one of those games, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Saturday, I go out there. Now, the game is at 2.30, but the dumb show is at 7. Same here. And the game, it, Ames, Iowa, is about a 50-minute ride away. So I'm like, I'm going to go. I want to get get out there, see the stadium, whatever, have a thing. And it's a big game. They're playing Texas, who's ranked 22 in the country. Uh-huh. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hot matchup, you know, sure. conference game, and I'm excited. And, of course, I wish it was a noon game or whatever. But you're like, I'm going to go. So I buy myself a ticket. And, of course, I, I go over which ticket I should get, this seat, that seat, aisle, fuck you, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Get the ticket. Get in the car. I drive out there. I'm like, I'll go out there early to really take in the soak it in because I have to leave early to get to the goddamn show. 
I watched the game. I'm sitting there. It's a beautiful day. I had to get a. I ate a hot dog with no bun because I'm doing this keto horse shit. Oh, I love the no bun. But it's not even enjoyable because ketchup's got sugar. So I'm just eating a, a hot dog like a cock. Right. I'm just sticking it in my mouth. And like the people next to me, they're like Iowa State. That you can see them like kind of glancing over. Oh. And I'm like, oh, they think I'm one of these people because right. I am. I guess so. You're so, keto though. Keto, I think, is you know, there's some tough guys who are keto. Well, here's the thing. I'm thin. People hate a thin guy not eating bread. They're like, what, well, you're not eating bread? And I'm like, I got reflux. It's a whole thing. Fuck off. My throat right. hurts. Yeah, it's not even keto. It's, it's it's a reflux. It's a whole thing. So I got I to gotta eat a hot dog. I feel like a fucking, you know what. Yeah, and, yeah, And yeah. uh, so I suck the thing down. I got peanuts. I never bought peanuts that are shelled. That's no fun. Ah, uh, I hate a shell. You're, you, you're, you're at work now. You got to break it. There's trash everywhere. It's just like... Yeah, it's fun to kind of throwing the trash out a little bit, but... I guess. Uh, yeah, it stinks. Well, they would break, too, and like kind of blow... The lady in front of me, her hood was like filled with shells. Her hood? Yeah, because she was sick. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of clitoral hood. Oh, I thought you were thinking KKK hood. Ah, uh, both bad. Yeah, well... Um, <laughs> well, she's got her hood flipped back. Every time I break, it flies, and I'm afraid I'm going to get ratted up. Uh, they all have season tickets. They all know each other. I'm oh, afraid someone's going to be like, hey, Bethany, you got you got a big nut on your fucking neck yeah, again. She, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm eating the peanuts. I'm watching the game. It's a great ball game, but uh, these sporting events, it, particularly football, it makes me fucking crazy. Football is the worst of them because they got to get the goddamn commercials in. Ah. So when you're at home... There's a lot of commercials, but you go, you take a piss, you're talking, you click to something else, you check out a news story. It doesn't seem like you're looking at your phone, whatever. But when you're at the game, it really brings home nothing's happening. We're all ah. just in there. There's 60,000 people in the crowd. There's fucking 60 players on each team, 25 coaches. There's 60,000 people just standing here with our thumbs up our asses. Yep. Nothing's happening because there's a big guy in a red coat standing out there being like, there's a commercial on. Right. So it's for all the commercials at home. You're like, this game should take two and a half hours. I know. Why do we need to see them? Just pump them into the TV sets. Well, they are, but they can't have the game going ah, while the commercials are playing. I see what you're so saying. that's why we're all just standing here like a bunch of fucking chooches. Meanwhile, I can't stand that there's no, there can't be any silence. Not silence, talking. Oh, yeah. But yeah, they have yeah. to go, ladies and gentlemen, during this break in the action, check out this video of a fucking balloon being blown up. And then they go, ladies, there's always a hero. Yes, check a lot out the of hero. heroes. Now, early on in the game, it's a hero hero. Hello. It's a guy that was in Afghanistan. He got shot in the back, and now you know he feeds kids, yeah. homeless kids. He's a great guy. We all stand, take off our hats, and woo! Everyone's crying. It's beautiful. Yeah, be all you can be. Then they come back with another guy. This guy's a cop. He arrested uh, a. He, there's a dog in a tree. He got him. He beat up a black guy. We're all. He's a hero. Woo! The hero bar keeps getting lowered. Soon you'll have teachers. Well, by the fourth quarter, they're like, "Here's Susan. She sprained her ankle on the way into the game. Right, right. And, uh, she stuck it out. And here's Tommy. He won a scratch ticket yeah, fucking three yeah. days ago. <laughs> we all go, oh, great job, Tom. You fucking loser. Yep, yep. Anyways, so the game is taking forever. Then it gets to halftime, and I'm like, all right, I got to leave at 5.30 because it'll take me an hour to get Ooh, back. Ooh, you're cutting it, fatty. But I got to also walk all the way back because just yes. like you, you got to park in fucking East Asshole. So I'm sitting there, and that gets to be halftime, and I'm like, maybe I'll just leave now. It's only 4.30, but if I leave now, I can get back to the hotel, eat, and watch the end of the game. All so right. I'm like, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to make a decision because otherwise I'll, I'll have to leave in the middle of the quarter. i got to keep looking at my watch, the game, the ga watch, the game. Are you alone? I'm alone. Oh, that helps. I'm alone in general in my life. Sure. So I leave at halftime. It takes me, same thing. i got to walk all the way because I came in the wrong fucking ah, entrance. i got to yes. walk all the way around my asshole, up past my elbow, into my eyeball, and out my dick hole. Sure. And as I'm leaving, now the game starts up as I'm leaving. So I'm about 100 yards from the stadium, and I just hear... Ah, oh, come on! This roar, and I still don't know to this day. It was fucking four days ago. I don't know if they returned the opening kickoff. It was the first play from scrimmage, but it was a huge, wild play. Mm. Iowa State scored, but it was interesting to have the perspective of hearing the crowd from like a hundred a hundred yards away. It might have been more than hundred. It was probably I don't know why I'm saying hundred yards. It's probably like a quarter of a mile away. But you just hear like over the hill, this like. Rah. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I missed something good. I could have stayed for that. Ah! But I'm not going to regret my decision. I get back to the car. I bomb back. Noah bomb back. Mm -hmm. Get to my hotel. I watch the end of the game. It's a fucking classic. Of course. Iowa State comes back. They kick a field goal with zero seconds on the clock to win it. The Ooh! crowd goes crazy. I'm like, oh, I could have been there for one of the great games, but I was still there. 
but I had to make it back for the show, so I don't regret my decision. I'm trying not to regret decisions. No regret. Would have been nice to have seen that game. Yeah, yeah, Greta Gerwig. Had to go see about a girl. But, I hear you. Uh, so I went and did the shows. The shows were great and fun and fucking woo, whatever. And then also, before that, of course, I had my big date with Ryan Hamilton. Ah, the hammy. Went and saw The Great Society on, uh, not on Broadway, on stage mm. around uh, Columbus. Not, what's that called there? You know the place. Ah, uh-huh. East Village. Chris Rock. First Harlem. black guy without a mop. What's that called over there? The Lincoln. Lincoln Theater. I didn't know that one. Lincoln Plaza. Ah, you know Lincoln Plaza. I don't know Chris Rock, one guy with a mop. Oh, he did the MTV Movie Awards, 99. Oh, wow. That was All his right. big joke at the Lincoln Theater. They said, uh, first black guy without a mop. It was like, woo. Oh, I see. I was in high school. I was like, this guy's crazy. I'm sure that one had a broom. What's that you said? I'm sure one had a broom. Oh, he's saying first one without Oh, I see. You're uh, saying a, uh, he had a broom it, instead of a mop. Well, I'm sure there was another black guy with a broom. Yeah. So that's not a mop. Right. I see what you're saying. All right. I liked it. Yeah, well. I just didn't catch it. Well, that's on me. He probably should have said, first black guy in here without a mop and with leather pants. Aha. Uh-huh. There's no janitors with leather pants. That's true. Right? Maybe Eddie Murphy janitored. Not with the pants, though. You got the pants after the janitor, for I sure. Guess, yeah, I guess you would. You can't be buying leather pants with janitor money. Yeah, and it's hard to uh, mop efficiently with that that restriction. It's got to be tricky to do anything with leather pants. Yeah, you'd think. Doesn't seem fun. The rock stars are doing it. Yeah, Jim Morrison. Leather pant. Could you ever imagine? No. Even putting one pant leg on, even when I'm at like the Gap, and I'm putting on like a kind of a nifty outfit, I just picture every friend from high school going, what are you, fucking crazy? You know what we should do is do a pod, a live pod where we wear leather pants. Woo! That might be fun. That'll get some Patreons. I'm down for that. Or maybe we should sell it as merch. Tuesdays with Stories, leather pants for the ladies. Aha. Uh-huh. The lady that's, gays. That's lunch. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Well, anyways, I went to the play, and uh, great time. We met at the uh, diner over there that I love. Had a nice dinner. Went over there. Great play. Most plays I don't get. I don't understand. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. But mm-hmm. uh, I've like read a few books. I know this period of history real well, so that was nice. And uh, Brian Cox was up there. Ooh, and I love Cox and love Cox, and uh, that was great. Not much of a story, just a great time. Nice there time. You go. Had enjoyed it. Took a cab home. Went to Des Moines the next day. It's and, good uh, to live. You're in New York City. You're soaking up the arts. Fatty. Live a little. Yes. You gotta live a little. Yeah. And then uh, this week. I got myself a big fat root canal on Tuesday morning. Now, I get so much anxiety. I feel sick the Monday before. I'm just, I'm sick with anxiety. Sure. Makes me want to just throw up and punch my own asshole as hard as I can. I've got that today. And, uh, oh, yeah, you're going to do the Seinfeld business. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. Kooky. Bananas. So exciting. Nuts. And so I got the root canal. I'm shitting my pants. Now, I shouldn't be. I've had three root canals. Mm-hmm. Jeez, and last an time, I had two at the same time. So I keep thinking, I'm like, I'm just having one. I'm having half of the work I had last time. Yes. And I got through it. But that anxiety still creeps up into my pee hole. And so I'm like Googling. How long? I'm like, what am I Googling? I know. I'm the, I'm yeah, the guy. I'm no the root Google. canal guy. You don't need the Goog. So no Guggenheim. And uh, I go there. Dr. Lynn, now folks, if you have a root, if you need a root canal, don't get so nervous. I went in there and he's like, the needle's going to hurt. That's the only part that's going to hurt. And I'm not, I never have a hard time with the needle Novocaine because they numb you up with the, the creams or whatever. They put cum on your lips. Sure. So that doesn't bother me too much. He's like, if that doesn't bother you, this is going to be a cinch. And I'm like, well, now I'm worried about that because you're telling me this. Wait, wait, the cum on the lips is going to bother you? Well, the needle in there. Oh, the needle. But I they, don't... they put the, they put a little gel on there that uh, numbs it a little bit oh, okay. before they put the needle in. Where's it going? Into the gum? They put it in the side of the cheek and then into the gums. Oh, yeah. Novocaine God. the gums. I couldn't handle it. Well, you're going to have to at some point. I mean, I, I have had needles in me, but it, that, that part freaks Just seeing it coming, that's like... Well, you don't look. Oh, I got to look. <laughs> he said it's best to keep your eyes closed. I'm like, what are you kidding? I don't open my eyes during sex, let alone a fucking needle head. Oy boy, yeah. So anyways, he puts the needles in. That's not too bad. The root canal... Was nothing. All right. It took 11 minutes. I never even felt it. I figured I'd be sore today. It's a little little bruising, but the son of a bitch, he burned my lip. You can kind of see it still a little bit. I'll show you the photos. It was bright white. Whoa. And then I texted him. I'm like, hey, I think you burned because they used a little torch. You texted him about the burn? I texted him about the burn. 
Wow, and burn after reading. I've gotten so many texts about me burning vaginas, but sure. they use some kind of Zippo or something to seal it up, and I go, hey, I think you burnt me here, you son of a bitch. He goes, looks like you bit it. Oh, he fought you on it. I'm like, I didn't bite. If I bit it, it'd be bleeding and bruised. Right. Bright white. It's like a hot white spot, like yes. jizz. This guy's Bernie Sanders. I love Bernie Sanders. It was uh. the color of Bernie's hair. Uh-huh. But uh, anyway, it's getting better because the mouth recovers quick. It's sure. got all those enzymes or microcosms or something. Will you ever have a cut and you lick it? I feel like it helps it. No, I never licked a cut. What? You got to cover it and you go do one of these? I mean, I know what licking is. Well, I'm just saying, you never had that? No, I don't oh, think so. Lick a cut, I'm telling you. All good right. times. I might cut myself just to lick myself. And you get a little taste of that inside queef, you know? You're like, ooh, that's what my uh, blood tastes like. I mean, I've licked some insides before, but it was my wife's, uh, you know, that, sea hole. That won't heal. Uh, that hole is going to be there for a while. Uh, these cups all heal. And I think it gets bigger. Um, yeah, well, not if you don't have a baby. Eh, yeah, Even still, right. you just stretches out. I think over time, it's wear and tear, right? Maybe, but that we don't wear and tear that much. I got a medium cock hole. I here. know, but you're pounding and shifting and twisting and turning. Oh, wow. She's been telling stories about me. Oh, yeah. That was <laughs> a newsletter. But uh, anyways, I got the root canal. I got to go back and I got to shave it down. But here's the bummer part. Here's the, the seed for more anxiety was laid. Uh-huh. He goes, well, the bottom, he's like, last time we did two tops. He's like, the top is much more difficult because mm-hmm. it's a little more, there's more roots ah, somehow up there. The he goes, and I got to use a mirror so it's a little trickier because it's upside down. Yeah. You know, and uh, something, something else. But I didn't tell him. I have another two than the top that's all fucked up that's going to need a root canal too. So now he planted that seed for the next one's ah, going to be worse. Oh, God, you can't get away clean. Yeah, and I'm scared. And then while he was doing it, he's like, you got a small cavity in the tooth next to it. We'll have... We'll, we'll fix that next time. I'm like, Jesus H. But here's Christ. the clinker. You just got it. You just talked about how easy it was. It took 11 minutes. So just know that for next time. I know, but I'm saying he's got, next time's going to be more difficult. Ah, it's a top. But it'll be fine, and, and uh, it's all anxiety. I'll be all right. And uh, so I got a nice, fresh root canal. It was nothing to worry about, and I feel pretty good. All right. So far, a solid week for you. A pretty good week. Going to the hockey game tonight, and then D.C. Uh, this weekend. Oh, chocolate city. Well, this is all past so this weekend laugh boston uh-huh and for god's sakes i've put it out there i'm I'm taking my own life if i don't sell out one of these boston shows for god's sakes oh you're gonna hit a couple bones i, I think. hope to get a bone in my ass you're gonna get some family bone you're gonna get some uh thanksgiving we need something to do bone you're gonna be all right and maybe some local bone i like some local bo- i like some just regular we're fans of you so we bought some bones and yeah. get me a bone you'll get some gays out there oh love the gays all right i gotta spit this nugget at you and i'm gonna try to keep it tight but it's dense all right give me a dense nugget a lot of details here so i get hit up by this kid you know me i answer every dm because i'm immature and insecure and uh all around just sad and uh so this kid hits me up he goes hey man i got a weird one for you Gig in Philly, this guy's done it, that guy's done it, this guy's done it. I go, how's the money? He goes, well, if you sell it, everything, you make this. I go, let's do it. Pretty good money. He's like, well, do, make it on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. You, sh- you you drive in, do the gig, get your money, you drive out. I was like, all right, great. So we set up two shows. They sell out like that. And Hot I, was, cakes. I felt cool. I was like, oh, look at me selling out. Room seats, 25 people. 25? 25. So we throw another show on there. That sells out. So now I'm doing an 8, a 9.30, and an 11. That's exciting. Very exciting. But I'm also like, what the fuck am I getting into? But ah, fuck it. The money's good. He's letting me keep the door. I'll drive there with uh, Ian Lara. Now, what are the ticket prices? 100 bucks? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah. Well, 20 times 20 is 400. Times another 5 is 500, right? Is that right? I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe there was 30 seats, but it was it was weird. But I'm like, this is what's going on. And every time we we exchanged, I was like, this is getting weirder because the money's good and this kid knows what he's talking about. But I don't know. So eventually, this girl hits me up and goes, "Hey, I see you're doing the Philly room mm. in Temp. It's right around Temple. She is a Philly. Yes. Break your heart. And uh, I go, Yeah. What's up with that? She goes, Just want to let you know, it's in a guy's apartment. What? And I'm like, Huh? Now, now I'm all intrigued. So I'm like, what are, you, what are you talking about? She's like, hey, I just want to let you know, a lot of comics come out here from New York, and they're blown away when they see what it is. And I'm just letting you know. I'm like, well, thanks for the heads up, uh, mysterious hero lady. Yeah. Uh, but I can't back out now, and the money's good, and I'm hanging out with Ian Lara. We're going to drive down there. So I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll bring some merch. Make a night of it. So uh, 
I feel like the merch, I'm like, it's the great escape where I'm just carrying dirt in my pants to just like let it out everywhere. Yeah, I don't quite get the analogy. You never seen that? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they got, they got too much dirt, so they got to get rid of it. They oh. bring it around to let it out. I got you. I just got so much in there. I got to let it out. You know, I, I got to like carry it, uh, bring it places. Yeah, he's not selling the dirt after the basketball game. No, no, but he's got to. He's he's got to get rid of it. Okay, that's All something. Right. That's something there. Yeah, it's maybe strange. this is a, a more updated. Yeah, and now might, might be something. All right. Well, you really took the wind out of my asshole there. Sorry, I just wasn't but, feeling it. All right. <laughs> so uh, I bring a bunch of merch, whatever. Night, the day of the gig, uh, I talk to Ian Lowry. Goes, I gotta pull out. No, oh, he's no. blowing up. Boy, I've heard that before. I know. I hate a pull out. Let me jizz on you, please. So he he's got to pull out. He's blowing up. He just did a Tonight Show. Go watch his Tonight Show, folks. He's a killer. Ian Lara. He's like, I'm doing something in L. A. for HBO. I'm about to be, you know, the next Martin Lawrence. Boy, I'm, it's I'm exciting. Black. I'm exciting. Yeah, he's so, young. So he's like, I can't do it. So I'm like, ah, I'm scrambling. I'm texting Doug Key. I'm texting Doug Smith. I'm texting all these people with wheels. Yeah. Finally hit up Devito. Anthony? Yep. Love Devito. He's in. Oh, nice. Maybe. A, That's a get. Maybe a get. Pretty good get. That's a great get. Are you kidding? You're out, Lara. Devito's in. Yep. So Devito picks me up. We hit the road. Obviously, we hit traffic. It's a Wednesday. No, Tuesday at like 5. We just go right into a Oof, wall of traffic. But we're brutal. hanging out. We just open up. We talk about the ladies and the comedy and the career and sadness and gays. And finally, we pull up. You ever been to Temple area? Of Temple Philly? University? Yeah. I think I've been through there. Woo! It's wild, baby. It's just run-down bullshit on one side of the boulevard. And then the other side is like a pristine university. Mm. It's so weird. It's and America. Yeah, there's all these honkies walking around, and then there's like you cross one street, and it's just syringes and like babies crying. Ah, uh, yes. You know, with like a can rolling in the wind and a boarded up building spray paint. Mm, times are hard. Yes, so am I. So we pull up to this old apartment building, and a squirrel little kid comes out named Lyle, cute kid, about four foot one. And uh, he's like, come on in. I bring my three bags of merch. And uh, I walk in. It's unbelievable. It's a living room with a big TV. The TV's got bar beer prices on it. They got wow. a full bar set up. He goes, give me your merch. I go, what do you mean? He goes, oh, I'm going to put it on the table, and we'll sell it for you. Wow. I'm like, what? Then we go in the back. He's got a green room. What? I was like, what, you got a green room? And he goes, yeah, yeah, it's just Joe's or Bob's bedroom, but we, we curtain it off, and we cover his jizz-stained Casper, and we throw a couple lawn chairs in there. He's got a TV going. He's got video games. He bought us Chinese food. This is a, it's like a boiler room. It's wild, yeah. It's like a backdoor card game. So he goes, you want to see the room? I go, yeah. We go down to the, the cellar, the basement. He's painted the walls brick to look like a comedy club. It's got 30 seats in it. It's got three cameramen, a sound guy, a stage, a curtain, and a working microphone. What? This guy is bonkers. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe this shit. Wow. What a, is he a comic, too? Ah, he dabbles. I think he like he interns at Helium or some shit. Wow. Well, they can't be thrilled that he's built a comedy club <laughs> that's across what I, the street. That's what I said, but he goes, no, they're coming to the show. Wow. The, like the, the owners of Helium, not the owners, but the manager and some whatevers are coming, the GMs are coming by. I was like, this is kooky. He's like, yeah, yeah, you sold it. Everything, people are excited. You're here. There's a lot of Tuesdays. I was like, oh, great. So, boom, clock strikes 7.50. That place is jammed. He walks them all downstairs. He's taking money. He's taking tickets. I mean, it's it's a well-oiled machine. He's got an operation going on. This can't be legal. Can't There's got to be, be some kind of better business bureau oh, or the FBI or some gonna, kind of bureau. He's going to get epstein in about a week. But for now, rock on. And what's it called? Cave. Just cave? Cave comedy. Huh? Oh, cave comedy. Cave comedy, yeah, yeah. So uh, we go down. I go down. DeVito goes up, has a fun one. I go down. We, you know, first show. Bomb! Bomb! I'm bomb? So, I'm you bombed the house? I'm so impressed with this kid. And, and then all of a sudden, I'm just like tanking. I'm like sweating. I'm, I'm like three minutes in. Like, this is going to be bad. I was like trying to riff on the room, you know. And oh, man, was it a huge. I ate my own ass. They should have put a big plastic tarp over that because it got bombed. Wow. It was ugly. I mean, that house hated me. And, uh, you know, that was the longest hour of my life. 
I get off stage and uh, I just run upstairs. I can't even sell merch. I can't take a photo. You know, you, you're, you're frazzled. Yeah, of course. So then the guy's like, I've never seen it that bad, I'm like, which doesn't help. And uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, that was rough. I, I don't know what happened down there. I'm so sorry. That was weird. I was like, yeah, what can you do? Second show, killer. Third show, even better. Just the whole thing's great. The only problem was the, the helium people saw the first one. Oh, no. So they come up in the green room and I'm just like, I'm sitting in a guy's bedroom I've got TV credits. I'm doing Helium in June. I'm doing St. Louis Helium. I'm doing Portland Helium next month. He's probably reconsidering. No, they don't reconsider. They know you. They know it's the crowd. They've it, been around. They know the business. Well, it's just a it's a weird dynamic. I'm in a guy's home. I'm in some like teenager's home uh, eating Chinese food on a lawn chair in the middle of a bad neighborhood. It's a kooky situation. He's and got it, a trench coat on and slick back hair and a Blackberry and shiny shoes. And he's like, well... I'll leave you to it. Does he do? Does this guy do shows all week? All, yeah, not all week, but he does them, you know, pretty often. He makes a living off of this shit. This is amazing. It's unbelievable. It's very impressive. What a hero! He's like a he's like a Philadelphia Veter. If Veter, you know, still did sold that. coke. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, it was really well done, and and it was gritty. It felt like we were part of something. Like this is fucking cool. And I think this kid in ten years is gonna be running Carnegie Hall or some shit. Wow, it felt That's like impressive. a story. Yeah. So second show was great, third show was great, and then uh, third show I felt so good, I actually sold some merch. Blind Kid showed up from Hawaii. What? <laughs> I swear to God. This I mean, that's kid. the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. I didn't know there was blind people in Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii's got problems. So this guy, he's got, the, he's got the, you know, the stick. Oh, yeah. The cane with the ball on it, the little red ball that they... T- you know, oh, yeah, all yeah. Over the those sidewalk. are fun. It was cool because he was in the audience, and every time I couldn't see him, he was in the back, but every time he laughed, the cane jiggled. Oh, so I was like, oh I'm killing with old, nice uh, cane Ray, jiggle. Ray Charles out there, yeah. Did he have a lay? No, no nah, lay. I wish no he had a lay. lay. He was a virgin. Now, how'd you know he was Hawaiian if no lay? Because other than that, I can't tell. He brought it up a few times. Ah, all right, that makes sense. But a cute kid came up, and he kept doing the thing where he'd be like, can we get a photo? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And he's like, all right. And I'm like, oh, I'm across the room. I have to run over to the room and get in the selfie. Right, And then right. he pointed the selfie at three other people, and we had to help him, and it was it was great. What the hell do you want a photo for? That's what I said. I, I mean, said, what are you going to do with this? Frame it? And he goes, ah, I'll show people. I'm like, all right, well, I'm flipping you off. You know, I'm fucking with him. I guess it's cool because you still have evidence of the hang. Uh, that's true. I guess, you know. And you got to realize how hard it is for these these uh, blind folk to get around. Nah, they have it easy if you ask me. Well, they get a parking spot. They get their own books. Come yeah, on. They get a dog. I guess so. Yeah, I guess you got a point there. I mean, I'm kidding, of course. I know. Yeah, blind is tough, especially in a fucking apartment basement. <laughs> yeah, and bullshit. He's in a horrible night, you could go outside and somebody could kick that cane. This guy's done. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, kind of Hawaiian too. He doesn't know the the cement, but uh, so um, yeah. So it was a great night, and we drove back. We got back at like three in the morning. I sold some merch, you know, and I've down another four shirts. So that uh, box almost has a dent in it. That's nice. Out of the 17 boxes that are in there. And uh, yeah, great time. Blind Hawaiian drove back. And now we're here. It's so fun. I'm going from apartment gig in the middle of hell to the Beacon Theater. Wow. Tonight is the Beacon. Now, how are you feeling about the Beacon? You're going to go, you're leaving this. I'm going to say goodbye. Suck my own dick and go home. Yep. And you're going to go and meet up with Jerry Seinfeld. Ah! You're going to be in this position. Yes. But with Jerry Seinfeld. It's kooky, bananas, wacko, and topsy turvy. I'm going to jump in the shower, put on a suit. And one of his rules was no black suit. And I go, well, I got a blue suit. But I pulled it out of there. It looks pretty black now. What do you think about that suit? No, that's blue. You think? Yeah, of oh. course. That's blue. Especially oh, suit God. people. Suit people can tell. They know. They know what a blue suit and a black suit. All right. I've worn blue suits for nine straight years, and then someone's like, that's a brown suit. And I'm like, oh, shit, I thought it was blue. They're like, that's, no, it's brown. That's you how I am. I don't see color. I'm like that with shits. I take a big shit, and it's green. Mm. That didn't make sense. Yeah, but you know your green shits because you show them to me. <laughs> yeah, I love a green shit. My oh, shits yeah. look like that cactus. Wow. With the thorns and everything. That means you could really take a pounding, probably. Oh, how so? Well, because if your asshole can dilate enough to drop a, a log like that, that means you could probably take a decent hog. But that's one way. Like that. That's like ah, it's designed to open that way. Interesting. The other way is uh, you gotta. It's going. It's in reverse a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the initial entrance and penetration will be a little bit tricky. But once you're in there, I think the asshole will just go. Oh, at this point, it's just a. It's just a boom boom. It's like a dump. Yeah. Yes. And it's be brown also. Oh, good point. Although my. Poops are all green. 
I never take. I never take a brown poop. Oh, all right. I don't know if that's bad or brown poop. Isn't that the? Uh... No, never mind. It ain't easy being <laughs> green. But uh, all right. So uh, yeah, sign tonight. I'll be. We'll have a full report next Tuesday. I know. So this is buckle a, up. This is a good tease because next week's episode is going to be hot. We're going to oh. have fucking Seinfeld at the Beacon, I'll be and there's a notes. pizza date if I'm not mistaken. You got that right. I that uh, hear me out on this one. I thought about this is this is where I lose it. Thought about putting the old phone in the pocket and uh, hitting that record button. No, you shouldn't do that. That's <laughs> ridiculous. That would be a great Patreon, though. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to put it out, but for us, we can have a couple of uh, chocolate milks, two oh, straws. Just for us? I couldn't listen to it. It would be too painful. Why? Cause just because any moment that you're like, oh, yeah. like any, like yeah. I, I, have, like, I tried to play a recording one time. I think we did it at the live podcast of the Creek and the Cape where there's some guy, the cab driver, was talking about religion. And I was like, oh, this would be funny. I'll play it. Yeah. So I recorded it. And it's so embarrassing because it's me being like, yes, oh, yeah. Oh, I remember that. Totally. But I'm that like, was funny. Yeah, it is funny, but it's still like, oh, it's humiliating. Right. You always say something that you're like, oh, that's brutal. Yes. I remember I went to, after the Red Sox won the uh, the American League championship in 2004. I went into the city, and I, it was like rioting and wild. We got shot with fucking pellet guns. It was Ooh. wild. And someone like blew up a car. I had a VCR. What do you call it? A fucking camcorder uh-huh. at the time or whatever it was. Yeah, it was a camcorder. Camcorder. And uh, someone lit a car on fire, like a Yankee hat in the back seat, and they lit a car on fire. And I was like, "Jesus!" The video was amazing. I had this amazing video, but I was like, "It's gonna blow, guys! Move back! Oh, this is gonna blow!" Yes, and I was yes. like, "This isn't what it's about. We're supposed oh. to be." It's so bad. Like it gives me like douche chills. I know that feeling. I'm literally like the camera's shaking, and I'm like, "Guys, this isn't what it's about. Move yeah, away!" Yeah. And I'm like, "I'm doing the thing where I'm like, it's gonna blow up, which yeah. it doesn't even happen. I don't think. I don't think uh, cars actually blow up. I've been there. I've but been I was like, there. everyone run back, and we would watch the video, and I'd have to play it for people on mute. Of course. And then how about this? I remember Joe Carroll, who's a comedian. I, I love. He's like a. He's great. I just love him. But he was like, "You gotta send this to the police. Like you have evidence." And I was like, "No, I can't. I can't." And he's like, what are you afraid of? That I'm like, first of all, I thought they were going to find out it's me and like get me. But I was like, I'm so embarrassing yes. on the video. I cannot submit this. Of Even course. if I had the OJ fucking murder, uh-huh. I'm like, I can't do it because I'm like, oh, he's cutting her neck. Right. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I can see her throat yeah he's wearing a glove i just uh it was so humiliating so anything recorded i mean even the podcast i tried listening to it i'm like oh i gotta take my own life same same i I know what you mean what time uh it's like that Chappelle bit where he's like they record those police calls i can't stop crying oh yeah yeah shit my pants yeah but uh one time i recorded uh on a kayak me and my gal were on a kayak and i was in the back like Woo, we're doing it. And I was like, this is too, I, 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 it was such a cool looking video. It was in, it was in Puerto Rico. We're going through these beautiful vines and trees. The the audio was so bad. I couldn't put it up. I say to Sarah, I'm like, you have to tell me when you're recording. Cause I, I'm just saying random. Dubs. I know. She'll be recording just when we're hiking or whatever. And I'm like, boy, the trees really make you feel alive. Right. And I'm like, you can't post it. Can't do it. Can't do it. But so listen to next week. It's going to be a hot one. And, uh, Go to the Patreon. I think people don't realize how good this page. I keep getting people emailing me, be like, "I went through every episode. I wish there was more." Oh yeah. Well, there are more. There's a shitload more live apps, and there's all the live apps, which are incredible. Queefs. And then there's a ton of queefs. There's bonuses. Then there's us talking to other comics. Some of it, like there's, I got movie reviews on there. There's just bullshit. Some of it, there's farts on there. All Ooh. kinds of big names up there. So go to the Patreon. Five bucks a month. Yeah. Maybe six, three, three apiece. Go nuts, nothing for a month. That's couch change. That's nothing. Yeah. So live your life. Live it up. Live it up. Live a little. Live a little. Thank you. Live a little. Give a little. Little people. Uh, this weekend, big weekend. Laugh Boston, 29th and Woo! 30th. Turkey Day. One show Friday, two show Saturday. Come to the early show Saturday. I don't care about the late show. I want. I got to sell out either Friday or the early show Saturday. Come to those shows. And then the weekend after that, uh, December 5th through the 7th, is Hilarities in Cleveland. And they're so good to me. They take care of me. They pay me well. So fucking come to those shows. Love that city. Love that food. Great club. December 5th through the 7th. The weekend after that, of course, is Albuquerque. Ooh. New Mexico. Santa Ana. Mark and I co-headlining, doing a podcast. Come out to that fucking show. And uh, what else do I have? Oh, Oh, I got to right. give it. Oh, sorry. You can uh, cut me off here. Lafayette uh, in Louisiana. And what's nice. the date? I can't remember which one's which. I'm bringing some hats and some. I got a bunch of Tuesday shirts. Now that I'm on the shirt 
racket. I'm going to bring all those Tuesday shirts to Santa Ana, baby. So keep a lookout. And Branded Bills sent us some hats. I'll give you some. He sent them some, some beanies, some T-shirts. Oh, hell yeah. And I also want to say, somebody let me put their mo- my moped in their garage, and I can't find who it was, so... Hit me back. I need your garage. He's got a garage in Astoria. He's like, put your moped. I'll give you a key. Oh, wow. And it's going to snow out here, so I can't have the hog uh, freezing to death like some kind of uh, Holocaust victim. Uh, come by the house. I live in Astoria. Oh, I will. Yeah, come by. I'll make a day out of it. December 21st is Houston. Uh, the Smiley Group. What's it called? The fucking Secret. The Secret Group, the 21st, and then uh, Lafayette on the 20th. So get some tickets to that. And a bunch of co- good shit coming up in the next year, too. I'm going to do the Comedy Store in March. Oh, and, nice. Uh, Skank Fest. And, oh, yes. we're not, oh, we're not supposed to be talking about Skank Fest. It wasn't Is announced. that right? Yeah, we fucked up. Oh, why not? But Moon Tower, that's out. Oh, boy. Well, anyways, that's it for me. All right. All right. Yeah, Moon Tower is going to be bananas. Uh, great lineup this year, even though I'm way down on the poster. But what can you do? Alphabetical. Aha. Uh-huh. That's why Schultz is up top. All right, I'm in Medford, New Jersey on December 6th. That'll be fun. I keep posting the link, so get those tickets. I had to pull out a Hoboken. Santa Ana of the Blue Room in Missouri. <laughs> Portland, Helium, folks. Oh, oh Portland. One-Eyed Jacks in New Orleans uh, right out the day after Thanksgiving. Get those tickets. Punchline, San Francisco. Yuck Yucks in Vancouver. Hello. You've been asking about that one. Tampa. Come on by. Then we got Toronto, Canada, for the Dark Comedy Fest, whatever that is, even though I'm pretty white. Comedy Store, La Jolla, Gotham Comedy Club in New York, St. Louis Helium, and uh, Zanies in Nashville, and Atlanta, and a lot of other stuff. Chicago in May. Quit asking me about Chicago. It's in May. We got plenty of time. And Philly uh, in June. Love Chicago. So, uh, yeah, come on out. Get on the Patreon, please. I got shirts up on uh, the site. Get a shirt. I'm obsessed with shirts. I hate myself. And, yeah, get on the Patreon. Praise Allah. Suck your own dick and uh, take care of each other. Yes, queef and a muffin and eat it. Goodbye. (laughs)